Hello and welcome to WYCC.org for In the Loop, the after show. Joining us today are Gerardo Cardenas, Senior Manager of Communications for AARP Illinois, Cara Burrell Wright, found, founder of MindHearted.com, and Greg Burns, editorial board member for the Chicago Tribune. Hello, everybody. Hello. So, Hi. the Civic Federation has put out a report this week suggesting one solution to Illinois' financial mess is to tax the income of retiree pensions, Social Security, and other retiree income, 401ks, and so forth, and slowly roll back the tax increase that was passed uh, last year. Gerardo, as someone who represents um, AARP, retired people, what's your thought about a tax on pension and retiree income? Well, obviously we have concerns about this proposal, but I think we have to put it in the context of everything that is going on. It's one of many proposals that are out there. Governor still has to come out with his proposal. Whoever the Republican candidate for governor is has to come out with his proposal. Uh, there's things that, that, that obviously one would agree with in terms of the Civic Federation. Yeah, the state is in a financial mess. Yes, we need a rainy day fund. Uh, yes, we need to uh, um, pay, the, the state has to pay their bills. Now, the only problem here is that uh, it makes retirees the only group that has been asked to sacrifice. It's not like retirees are not paying taxes. They are. And often, uh, they're helping children and grandchildren financially out of their very limited income. So if they're taxed, they're not going to be able to make up that income in any other way. Those who uh, afford enough, what's going to happen with them? They're going to move out of state. It's happened. Illinois is losing population. So we think that other things need to come into play and need to be looked at. And the rollback, I think that oh, it's okay for uh, f extend the tax income hike for one year, but after it's rolled back, what's going to happen? Do we, do we know for sure that uh, state state's going to generate enough revenue? I don't know. Cara, Illinois is one of only three states that tax pensions. Should it stay that way or not? Um, well, you know, I'm not an economist. I'm not, in the, uh, I'm not even in the financial industry. And so I think as a taxpayer, I look at organizations like AARP, I look at our news sources, and I think for me, I just don't feel like I have enough information. Um, I, don't, I don't feel like I have enough information that can help me decide really what makes the most sense. Um, so the conversation for me, though, goes to can we talk about are we able to even pay the pensions before we tax the pensions? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> and on a wider level, I mean, we don't exactly have Arizona weather here. Do we risk? losing a good chunk of our tax base, which are these retirees. Well, you know, I don't think people flee that readily. And I was impressed with the report. It's the Civic Federation. They've been guardians of public purse for a long time. And the fact that they came out favoring tax increases really is a departure for them in some ways. And it just shows you how desperate we are in this state. And if the Civic Federation is saying we need more revenue, then we probably do. And it really makes me wonder how we're going to get there and what we're going to do about these pension burdens that are really uh, impossible to pay unless there's some major change. And here in Chicago, they seem to be getting worse. The city's debt was downgraded again this week. It's going to cost the city more in interest payments. And there doesn't seem to be a solution on the front for Chicago's pension problem. No, it won't get better either. I mean, we're coming off a year where the stock market was up 30 percent, and the pensions are still way underfunded. You just can't expect it to fix itself. Now, at the same time, when borrowing money has become more expensive for the city of Chicago, Mayor Rahm Emanuel is exploring the possibility of adding 5,000 seats to Soldier Field in what some say is his bid for a Super Bowl. Cara, is it worth the money? Is, it, is this bad timing? How do you see it? Where's the money coming from? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, you know, I'm really, it's really curious. He, he, that, that question hasn't been answered, and so... Well, it's nice of you to volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, where's it coming from? <laughs> well, I think, I think Kara uh, makes a great point there. I think there needs to be some transparency into how this project is going is to come into fruition. Uh, but the Chicago Tribune pointed out something that originally I hadn't noticed, uh, but even with the 5,000 addition, we're still under what the NFL is asking uh, cities and stadiums in terms of readiness for a Super Bowl. So if we're only going to be, if we're going to be short, uh, why are we doing it? Uh, I think that if we're going to do it and this could bring good business and good money to Chicago, well, let's cross it to 70,000 seats threshold. So why are we stopping short? And the idea of a Super Bowl in Chicago in February still has to be a certain <laughs> threshold. I went back and checked the temperature on February 2nd, which was this Super Bowl. Chicago, the high that day was 10 degrees. It got down to minus one. 
Is Chicago seriously going to get a Super Bowl anyway? Well, we have a good running back on the Bears, so you <laughs> can't throw the ball in that weather. This could be the ulterior motive of putting up all those seats. I just don't think they have the money, so it's probably dead on arrival. That whole project, I just don't see it happening unless the Bears are going to pay for it. Because that is a Chicago Park District uh, facility, is it not? Yeah, yeah. and the, the Park District paid two-thirds of the last renovation. The Bears only paid one-third. I can't imagine that's going to happen again. There just isn't money there. I would change the entire uh, prospect of building more seats for having the Bears in the, in the Super Bowl if it's in Hawaii, in Jacksonville. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get there. And then we can talk about yeah, other things. Good point. Okay. On that note, we're going to wrap it up. For our Dr. Dennis, Cara Burrell-Wright, and Greg Burns, thank you very much. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.